بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ٹوڈے ان دس ویڈیو ول ٹاک اباؤٹ دیٹ ہاؤ وی کین فائنڈ آؤٹ دی کریکٹیڈ این ویلیو دا ویلیو دیٹ از ابزرو ان دا فیلڈ از سبجیکٹیڈ ٹو ویریس کریکشنز بیکاز دیر آر لاٹس آف ان ایکریسز ان ورلڈ ان دا فیلڈ پروسیجرز آف اسٹینڈرڈ پینیٹریشن ٹیسٹ دیٹ از وائی وی نیڈ ٹو اپلائی سم کریکشنز سو دیٹ ہیز آلریڈی بین ڈسکسڈ ان آر پریویس لیکچرز ان ڈیٹیلس بٹ ہیئر وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ that how we can find out the uh, corrected n value so here you can see the formula of corrected n value n subscript 60 because uh, this value uh, in this formula energy uh, hammer energy correction is applied for 60% that is why it is named as n subscript 60 uh, that is equals to e subscript h hammer energy correction multiplied by correction of bore hole multiplied by c subscript s correction for sample for sampler and then correction for raw length multiplied by n into n field and divided by 0.6 so this is how we find out the n60 then there is another correction uh, for the overburden if the overburden correction is applied then this corrected value will become n160 so that is equals to n60 into cn cn is the correction for overburden so using these formulas we find out the correction uh, or corrected n value so eh can be uh, found out from the table number 1 and cb correction for bore hole can be find out can be found out using using the table number 1 that is uh, that you can see on the screen uh, it is clearly shown the uh, uh, corresponding bore hole correction for different bore hole sizes if you can see you can see in the table if the bore hole dia is 2.5 to 4.5 inch then the correction required is 1 it means there is no correction required for uh, bore hole dia 2.5 to 4.5 inch 5 inch then if the size of bore hole is 6 inch then the correction applied is 1.05 if the size of bore hole is 8 inch then 1.15 correction will be applied then sampler if your if your sampler is lined then there is no correction required and if the sampler used is without liner then you need to apply the correction as you can see in the table that 1.2 value will be applied if the sampler used is without liner then you need to apply the correction for rod length you can see the values for different uh, rod length uh, the correction corresponding to different you can see in the table if the rod length value is in between 10 to 13 feet you need to apply the correction of 0.75 if the rod length value is 13 to 20 feet then the correction applied will be 0.85 and if the if the value of rod length is in between 20 to 30 feet then the correction applied will be 0.95 and if the value is greater than 30 feet if the rod length is greater than 30 feet then the correction will not be required it means you will multiply it by 1 then another question is that how we can find out the bore uh, overburden correction remember if the soil type is cohesive then there is no need to apply the overburden correction but if the soil type is coarse then you need to apply the overburden correction so overburden correction can be found out using this formula uh, once you find out the n60 then you need to apply it by overburden correction and remember that should be less than 2 n60 so smaller of these two values will be selected as n160 for example if n60 into uh, correction of overburden is equals to uh, or less than 2n60 you will select one of the values that is uh, less than or equal to 2n into uh, 2n60 now how to find out the cn overburden correction so overburden correction can be found out using this formula 0.77 log of 2000 2000 over sigma naught prime 
So the units used in this formula formula will be sigma naught will be in kilonewton per meter square. And remember, sigma naught can be found out using this formula. Gamma, unit weight of the soil, multiplied by depth of the foundation. So the units will be in kilonewton per meter square. So you will use this formula to find out the overburden correction. So if you are using the FPS units, then you can use this formula or you can modify this formula as 0 0.77 log 20 over sigma naught. And sigma naught will be in TSF. So this is how we can find out the corrected N value. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you. And